Hey guys, it's Rosalind back at you one more time. I hope everybody had a good weekend, enjoyed your Super Bowl weekend. Um, I don't know who you guys are going for. I wasn't going for nobody. <laughs> but anyways, I came here to tell you, love yourself even when the world feels like it doesn't love you back. You know, everybody goes through things. Everybody, you know, has to get through, through things to get to where they're supposed to be. You don't have to learn that every day. You know, I had to deal with a lot of drama. I had to deal with a lot of negativity. And that, I mean, that's not me. You know, I always had to prove my point or always had to, you know, stand up for myself and everything like that. So I'm going to still stand up for myself. But I had to learn how to, every time there's like an ignorant response or a hateful response, I just have to take it with a grain of salt and keep keep it moving. You know, uh, I was reading, well, actually, I was watching a video yesterday, well, a couple of videos, you know, as I do, do my research and everything um, about all the things that we go through. And it, it was just like, the more you read and there goes my baby, I always got to do a cameo appearance. Uh, anytime you go through things or whatever like that, it, there's a reason. And I'm, when I was watching this video, he messed me up. <laughs> when I was watching this video about the twin flames, you know, basically, you're, you're, you know, the soul, you guys have a split soul, but you guys look, you know, like a mirror image, you know. And it's like all his characteristics is different from your characteristics. Even though we have some in common, you know, we're both kind-hearted people. We're always... Willing to, you know, try to help save the world in some kind of way, you know, do our part. But, you know, there also comes some bad things. <laughs> so, you know, and me, I have, high, you know, hostility. I have anger issues, you know, and I'm learning about that every day. You know, learn how to control yourself. Don't put yourself in a negative position. Just walk away. You know, um, I'm in a predicament right now where even though I'm not dealing with my family, I'm still dealing with some stupid stuff, you know, that I'm really trying to get out of. And, you know, I don't want to get into that because that's negative and I'm not trying to talk negative to you guys. But just pray for me. You know, um, prayer always works. You know, sometimes I feel like it's not, you know, sometimes I feel like, you know, is God hearing me sometimes? You know, why do I have to go through this? But, you know, a lot of things we put on ourselves and we don't realize it. You know, some things cannot be helped. But a lot of situations, I feel to me, that's my opinion, that we do put ourselves in those positions. And then we ask why, <laughs> you know, ask why, you know, we deal with certain people and you're like, you care about them, but they're just, why are they like that? You know, and you have to just think not everybody's got a kind heart like you, you know, some people has been through things and they just don't know how to let it go. So it just messes up every relationship that they're dealing with, you know, and I had to, I have to break those chains because I don't want to deal with stuff like that anymore. You know, I'm trying to be happy. I'm trying to stay abundant. Okay. You know, um, I have to tell myself, I got to give myself that pep talk, you know, that pat on the back. Cause I think I'm doing good. You know, even though I get discouraged sometimes because I don't feel like, you know, a lot of people are, you know, um, uh, want to watch my videos but i'm going to make more anyway you know because i was watching infinite waters yesterday and he said don't get discouraged you know uh if you're you have a you know a youtube account and you're trying to vlog or whatever and you only got like five or ten views or stuff like that five or ten subscribers you know if this is what you enjoy to do keep doing it and this is what i enjoy to do you know this is therapeutic to me and hopefully you know my story on the things that I go through be helpful for you. So when I know I've done that, um, then I know I've done a good job. You know, I'm going through my own stuff right now, but I know it's not going to always be this way. You know, I have to keep telling myself, even though know, I get irritated and I'm just asking why. Why can I just, I accept for what it is, but why can I just move on? And it's just like, you know, God's telling me I'm not done with you with this this situation yet because he doesn't, basically to me, he doesn't want me going through this with anybody else. So I have to learn how to deal with it. So um, I'm here to tell you, love yourself, even though it feels like sometimes the world doesn't love you back, love it anyway. There's always beauty in some of the chaos that we have. You know, I just hate 
the fact is, you know, I can't turn on the news and either hear about somebody being missing. You know, um, it touched my heart yesterday when I saw this post about um, this girl named Monica Sykes in St. Louis. Um, she's been missing for a while, and I hope and pray, you know, they find that girl in peace. You know, they had found some kind of remains or something like that, and they keep on saying, oh, my God, it's Monica, it's Monica. I don't want to wish that on anybody, you know. Um, I don't, I really don't want to wish that on anybody. I just, I hate seeing stuff like that. You know, these, you know, this woman, I think she had children or whatever, and it just really broke my heart to see that her mom, you know, has to make videos, please, you know, somebody knew something, let her know. If you know where her child is, let her know. You know, I hope and pray that she comes home safely. And then I pray that, you know, she has strength to get through what she has to get through. But, um, to me, it, it, it's just really sad. You know, that's why it's really hard. It's like, did you watch the news today? And I'm just like, no, I can't, <laughs> I can't deal with it. You know, sometimes it gets too hard to deal with. You know, it's just all this negativity in the world. I get tired of hearing about Trump. I'm not even going to get on that subject about Trump because I really don't like dealing with, with the government when it comes to situations like that. But that's a hot mess. So, um, but just be kind. You know, and it's hard to do that when you have to deal with mean people, you know. And it, it just, I had to start saying, you know what, I can't take this personal. Obviously, they have issues that they need to heal with themselves and don't know how to. So they treat people bad. Me, I, I don't want to, you know, I'm never going to stop counting my blessings because my problems are never bigger than my blessings. My, my blessings are always bigger than that. You know, I have to keep telling myself, you're strong, you're beautiful, you're going to be successful. You know, you're going to be with your family one day. But I have to learn how to love myself more and be happy in my own skin to be able to do that. You know, even though I feel like my family might heighten my, my happiness, but I have to be happy with myself before I try to get it from somebody else. Because they're not going to be able to love me like I love me. Even though, I mean, it's from the situations that I know about. You know, I have to look at, look at them. For what kind of blessing did what what did this teach me? What did I get out of this? You know, I don't want to think about it and just cry. You know, because I mean that's really hard to deal with. But it's becoming easier and easier every day. You know, to accept it. You know, and that's acceptance. <laughs> that's the hard thing to do is acceptance. When you look at a situation that is just broke you in every way possible, or at least tried to break you in every way possible. You have to look look at it and take it for what it's worth. What did you get out of it? You know, um, when it comes to bad relationships, you know, there's people on, you know, YouTube and not YouTube, but, you know, Facebook and probably different, different sites that, you know, are putting up uh, pictures of, you know, them being abused or whatever. I don't know if it's for a cry for help. Or they say, you know, people do things for likes, you know. And that's sad when you have to do stuff like that. But there's a lot of people that are going through things and they feel like, you know, they want you to see, you know, they're going through stuff too. You know, and I try to look at it that way. And a lot of people, you know, is she just doing this for attention? Is he just doing that for attention? Or is she just doing this, you know, get likes or whatever? But you never know what that person is going through. And I try to feel that way about every situation you never know what somebody is going through so please don't judge <laughs> and I try not to judge you know even though I've heard some crazy stuff I try not to judge because I look at them and just you know look at the situation and just think you know you never know what this person is going through and you know and that's what I'm here to tell you guys even though you're going through something it's not going to always be that way it's not going to always be that way. You have people that are doing you wrong. You know, block it out. Not deal with it. That's why I have to tell myself every single day. Don't deal with it. You don't have to deal with that. You don't have every time. That's what they're looking for you to do. Respond to it. And because they're not happy with themselves. So I have to learn how to tell myself. You're not going to have to deal with this for too much longer. You're going to you're gonna be able to be happy. And... Learning, my dad always, um, always keeps telling me, 
you know, um, when I hear him, you know, love yourself as much as you love me. You know, when you love your, when you love yourself and you love me, we are one. So I have to learn how to do that, you know. And it's just becoming more like since he's he's in his different form. I don't want to say past or gone. Uh, he's in his different form. Uh, it, it's he's brought me a lot of peace of mind, even though it's sad. <laughs> it brought me a lot of peace of mind. Uh, uh, peace of mind. Um, just to know that my dad has got my back to help me, even though he wasn't able to do that, you know, while he was here. You know, just to know that he's always been there and he's always cared. That's a lot, you know, that's love for me because I felt like since, you know, looking at my childhood, I didn't feel like I was loved. Even though I, I knew I was as a baby, but growing up after that, there goes my baby. <laughs> there goes my other baby. Uh, I never felt like I was loved, you know, because it just seemed like anything that was true to me it made me happy it was snatched away because i wasn't supposed to be happy you know i was thinking about you know um when i was like i think it was i was 11 or 12. i had a piano and i loved to play the piano and you know the first song i did was um glamorous life i was able to do that and chopsticks and stuff like that but my true passion was to learn how to play purple rain. One day I will be able to do that. Maybe not right now, but one day I will. You know, because I tell my dad a lot, you know, I want to be able to play the guitar. I want to learn how to um, play the piano again. It's been since I was 12 years old, 12, 13 years old, since the last time I played the piano. And it brought me so much joy. You know, I see why my dad always constantly made music all the time. Because it, it brought him joy. You know, he was able to... It was excuse me it was therapeutic to him and you know music is therapeutic to me I can sit up here and listen to it you know um and it makes me feel good you know do what makes you feel happy if it's you know walking out and seeing nature which I need to do but I just don't like the cold too much <laughs> but um I have to do that you know um go volunteer somewhere you know give you know help out in the charity you know do something that is good for the planet you know just because there's so many negative things out here learn how to accept it you know uh be an example you know and hopefully a lot of people will follow you know um i might get a little discouraged because i feel like you know when i first started this i thought you know because of the situation people a lot more people were involved around looking at the videos but you know it's going slow but it's okay i know i got some people listening and I appreciate the ones that, you know, come and watch my videos. So, you know, like, should subscribe, share, you know, um, email me. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, you know, please, like I said in my other videos, no negative comments. I, I don't respond to those. Um, and just stay blessed. I'm not going to keep you guys up today. Um away from whatever you gotta do because it is Monday <laughs> so I hope everybody has a blessed day prosperous week and I will talk to you soon love you peace bye